Hi guys, welcome to the video, and this video I just wanted to talk about some real life lesbian icons because I think we hear a lot about the ones that we are attracted to on television and in film and on the internet because gay. But also there's actually a bunch of real life lesbians who have done a bunch of really cool things with their lives. And then there's me who's, who's done nothing with my life but sleeps moderately okay at night anyway. So the first icon on my list is Johanna, wait for for it. Sigurda Dorte. Yes. She was Iceland's first female prime minister and the world's first lesbian head of government. And a cool fact about her is that in 2009, her government banned strip clubs with, I quote, they wanted to recognize women as equal citizens rather than commodities for sale. I am staying neutral on strip clubs. I don't know enough about the industry to have an opinion. I mean, as a woman, strip clubs are, are, are not, but as a lesbian, it, moving on. The second icon is Alice Walker. She is an American author, poet, and activist for her queer award-winning novel, The Colour Purple. If you haven't read The Colour Purple, you don't know what it is, please Google it. A fun fact about Alice Walker is she once had a romance with Tracy Chapman, which she's very private about, but they did it. The third icon is Billie Jean King. She is an American former number one tennis player and an advocate for gender equality. A couple of facts about Billie Jean is she didn't actually come out to her parents until she was 15. So I think her journey with her sexuality has been quite a long time thing and of course I think her journey was a lot more complex than a lot of people's for various reasons. There was also a film made about her called Battle of the Sexes where Emma Stone plays her and there's some lesbianing going on and it was great. The fourth icon is Nobuko Yoshia. She is a Japanese novelist and a pioneer in lesbian literature and if you look into the history of Yuri and Japanese lesbian literature, she is almost at the root of all of it. A fun fact about her is she had to adopt her partner as her daughter so they could legally share property and make medical decisions for each other. I mean, I say that's a fun fact, like it's not just straight up oppressive homophobia, but yeah, <laughs> the good old days where you had to adopt your lover as your daughter, that just, mm, just lesbian things, you know? The fifth icon I wanted to talk about is is Wanda Sykes. She is an actress, a comedian and a writer and this one is sort of a bias just because she's literally my favourite female comedian. I think she's hilarious. She's everything she says is funny. Everything. She got her first break doing stand-up when she opened a show for Chris Rock. She used to work for the National Security Agency and feeling unfulfilled she began to do stand-up and a fun fact about her is she's married to a French woman and has twin children and when she talks about them it's very fun. The sixth icon is Eileen Shaken. She's probably a bit more well known to my regular viewers because of course she is a co-creator of The L Word. She's also a writer, a producer, so on and so forth. A fun fact about her is she nurtures birds with her wife, which I thought was really cute. And the Jenny Marina romance in The L Word was based on her first lesbian romance. Of course The L Word had a huge cultural impact on TV. I mean, I don't need to go into how impactful it is, but yeah. I mean, she hasn't always got everything everything right but we just we have a lot to thank her for all the same. The seventh and final icon I wanted to talk about is a woman named Sally Ride. She was the first American woman in space and the third woman in space overall worldwide. She was actually incredibly private about her personal life and it's only when she died that her female partner of 27 years was revealed. Lesbians in space, it, it makes sense. So there you go, that's some of the lesbian icons I discovered whilst doing the bare minimum research. Before I go, there's this very cool little website which I will link down below, which is about LGBT visibility in science. And they have this project which is 500 queer scientists or something like that but it's just talking about LGBT people in STEM. It's a very cool website so if you're looking for inspiration check that out. Okay guys thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe for instant disappointment and I'll see you guys soon.